How is it going, guys? So, as you guys probably know, if you keep up with my Onion videos series, you probably know I'm going to New York. If you don't, I'm going to New York tomorrow. I'm taking the train up there. I needed a bag, like a, well, not a suitcase. I have some backpacks, but they're all like backpacking backpacks. So I needed like a, like a small backpack that I could carry things in, except the surplus store I was at charged way too much. And I had previously ordered one off Amazon, except it's like, all right, it's going to get here in two days. It's prime. Cool. It did not get here in two days. And I do not have any more time to wait for it because I'm leaving tomorrow. So me and my friend, or me and my mom ran to the military surplus store about a couple hours from here. Um, we ran to little GI Joe's military surplus and they had backpacks pretty good. One had like a really cool, it was like a army backpack and it had like a pack attached to it using molly webbing it was pretty cool it was like 70 dollars so no so i went with this and this is you can read that this is an israeli paratrooper bag you can see all the specs on it it's pretty cool so i'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up i'm gonna do my best to get this on camera um i don't have a knife on me that's unfortunate These things were really cool when we looked at them. So it's this one is um. I'll let you get a closer look at that. You can see how the pack is supposed to look. Um, nothing on the back side, obviously. But yeah, it's an Israeli paratrooper bag. So this is like what paratroopers will put their stuff in. Pretty cool. This is the. Can see it here they have all the different colors they have like a light brown not sure if that's going to show up on camera too well but light brown black green tan or khaki and i got the khaki so pretty cool and there's the bag in real time so here on the back side of it let me just take this off of my tripod tripod <laughs> you can see the back side of it. You have little hooks. Um, because this is a paratrooper's bag. But now I imagine it has to stick to the paratrooper. You can find pretty cool videos of them, but everything that they have, like, tightens to them or attaches to them because that's just how it goes. Okay, here I'm gonna slap this thing back onto my high quality extreme Ultra Max tripod. Of That's even word. Uh, got a little warning label on the bag. The bag is not important. It's well, the the plastic bag isn't important. The bag is important. You get what I'm saying. Go ahead and open this thing up. And here we have this little clip, which was what was being used to clip the thing to the um, what you call to the shelf. But I'd imagine you could also use that to, like, you can see. I'm not sure if I'm getting this on camera, but you, yeah, you can see. You could, like, go ahead and hang on. This is, like, really hard to press, and there you go. And it clips together. Again, paratrooper bag. Don't want things flying out, which that's a really nice addition. And flip this thing open. Here on this front portion, we have a really nice pouch that just flips open really easy to access and you get all your webbing here I meaning if i wanted to attach knives pens pencils anything that'll fit in here i could attach some first aid supplies that i wanted to get to really fast if i just like tape a d-ring to it i guess i could like clip it all on here um and that's that's a really cool addition we'll go ahead and show you so you get all the all that and this just clips on um, then you actually get a little pouch in here. Uh, it's probably, it's actually a decent sized pouch. Uh, trying to see if I have anything I can compare it to. For like a scale, this is like a normal sized ball cap. That will fit. That pouch is about the size of a normal sized ball cap. For comparison. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool off the first pouch. 
again, high tech, fancy. Oh, that's not good. Come on. Stay. All right. High tech, fancy. Make sure that's in frame. Hang on. Yeah. And then that just. You just clip. Yep. Yeah. You just clip that thing right on there. And this is like a nice khaki canvas suit. I'm going to try to keep this as short as I can keep it. But whenever I try to make a short video, it always ends up going really, really long. This is like a, a really nice canvas bag. And since all of it clips together, you get, you know, your nice clips on the back. You could, because of these clips here, you could clip this to like a backpack. Like your backpacking backpack. And this is decently lightweight. It is, like I said, canvas. So it's, you know, going to be really good for, like, camping or fishing or whatever. Um, I only paid 25 bucks for this, so pretty good. I think Little G.I. Joe's has a website as well if you want to order this. They might have it on there or not. And then if you look closely here, we get... I don't know why... We have a silica gel packet. I don't know why it's in there, but it is. And then you get this second layer and a third layer and a fourth layer. So I'm going to probably show this more in depth. Hang on. Look in here. We have a sling. Or not a sling, but a strap to, to hook this thing on to yourself, which obviously tightens and hooks and unhooks which is a good addition because there's hooks all over this place i could if i don't like this strap if i want a better one i could hook this or i could take this strap off put another one on or i could hook this strap to the back of the bag if i wanted to but <clears throat> you have the first pouch in here which is it's really big i mean you a lot. Oh, well, we have three silica gel packets in there. Um, and then we have the fourth. Um, and then, obviously, the strap. And I'm going to hang this thing up. Should be warmed up. I'm not sure what that thing is. There's a, I can't really see it on camera. But well, there's a thing in there. Let me just... Yeah, and then that handle. You just pop right back in here and so i'll hang the or i'll put this camera up at an angle and i can show you more all right so this is the bag um as you can see got this is just a standing perspective you unhook it which is a little annoying to do right now but unhook it and then it opens up just to give you an idea of exactly how big these pouches are you can see it more like actually how big it is and then if I pop that, that handle out so yeah the space is not an issue this thing the price point for how high quality it is you know you get the little I, I, I don't know why I like that Israeli logo on the front or that Israeli emblem the price point it's really really spacious um, and nice and then you could pop it on like this another thing oh, I'll back up another thing being that you could uh if you're wearing like a belt use these to attach this not only top on your shoulder but attach it to your belt itself um or you know, run things through that loop there's a lot that could be done with this. So, for being like this, I mean, review time, I guess, it is, like, high quality canvas. It's nice. It's gonna, you know, it's super customizable. It's obviously military surplus. So, quality. I would rate it, like, 9 out of a 10. Um, paratrooper bag. Israeli paratrooper bag.